Hi everybody, I am just filming a video today inspired by Megan Hart's makeup competition and Brad Paisley's song, Letter to Me. Um, basically about him writing himself a letter when he's older for his 17 year old self. So I thought that I would write a letter to a young Alex. I'm actually wearing my high school jumper today, just because I thought it was only appropriate. Um, and I'm just, I've just written out a little letter in here of things that I would tell a 15 year, 15, 16 year old Alex, because once I was 17, I was a little bit, I would like to think a little bit smarter than I was at 15, 16. Um, so I'm just going to read this letter to you. Most people might think, you know, what, what the hell is she talking about? Um, I'm going to also on my blog post some photos that I found of a very young Alex um, through the years. I actually found them off one of my friend's YouTube videos that he did for our end of year in year 10 and then in year 12. Um, yeah, so <laughs> bear with me and I'm just going to read a little letter to a young Alex. Okay, so. Dear Alex, let me start by saying, bloody hell girl, don't cut your hair. Pagan is right. Pagan's my hairdresser, by the way. Don't do it. It will seem like a good idea at the time, but A, you will look back at it and think, I look like a boy, and B, you will come to despise your short hair. Again, photos on my blog. Other than that, I would like to say, don't change a thing. Stay just the way you are. Don't get me wrong, you're going to have, some t you're going to have a tough ride. You're going to cry harder than you laugh but it's worth it where I am in our life now. Some of the shit will include making some really poor decisions, saying the wrong things, losing people that you love, having to learn some horrible lessons that you know you'll have to learn the hard way and being picked on at school. Trust me, I could go on, but it's not worth it. But you will have some great times also. You're going to study in Sydney and surprise, surprise, you're gonna hate it. You will graduate school and you will have some great memories. Your life will keep going even though at times you think that it just won't. But most of all, you will spend over a year on the other side of the world, the UK, finding who you are, growing, travelling and meeting a great guy. Don't laugh at me because I know you are. <laughs> I'm serious. You will start a blog and do YouTube and you will endeavour to help others. The biggest lesson you need to know and the only thing I want to tell you now is don't care about the kids at school don't shake your head and say that you don't let's face it we both know you do they mean nothing in your life now yes that may sound harsh it is but it's also very true guess how many you see on a regular basis none of them guess how many 21st you're going to this year none of theirs yes you may talk to three or May, you may talk to them <laughs> for five minutes every two years on Facebook chat, but do their opinions matter? No. Have and will you, you will, <laughs> you have and will spend so much time worrying about what they think and say about you and how the only time you think about them, and now I'm sorry, the only time you think about them is when they pop up on Facebook with a new baby, a wedding, engagement, or something like that. Yes, this will happen, and yes, it will be scary when it does. So, young Alex, keep on going, hon. Where I am, you're happy, you have a wonderful family, a gorgeous boyfriend, and you even start wearing dresses. Okay, I know you don't believe I'm an older Alex now. Anyway, I love you, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> That's my letter to my 16 year old self. A little background there. I only started wearing dresses when I came to the UK. I wore shorts and, well not even shorts, I wore pants the whole way through high school. Um, yeah, I didn't wear a skirt, didn't wear a dress. Um, pants, navy pants, that was all I wore. Um, so Megan Hart Makeup is running a competition on her blog where older girls like myself who have graduated high school or middle school, which they have in the US, um, can post a video response about um, their teenage years, which is kind of what this is. I'm not sure that I'm going to enter the competition or whether I'm just going to post it to help other people. I've also gone through on, her blo on the actual post and younger girls that are in school can also post a question or issues they're having. I've gone through and written a few of them down because I kind of think that, you know, being almost 21 I can answer a lot of these questions and the funny thing is as I read through these questions and all I can see is 
questions that I would have asked at that age and things that I thought and a lot of them are very similar you know they're worded differently they're this they're that or the other but they're the same questions they really are and I would have given anything to at 15 you know 14 15 I don't even know if YouTube was invented then <laughs> I know as hell I wasn't on it to be able to look on YouTube and find somebody that was very average very you know just very normal to answer these questions that I've got. So please, you know, if you watch this video and you actually have any direct questions that you want to ask me, please do, because I'm more than happy to, you know, answer them as, as best as I can to tell you my experiences. I had a rough time in, you know, in my schooling life. I wasn't popular, I, you know, I'm not popular now. Um, and I wasn't, I was not a cool kid. I was, I don't know, I was weird maybe? I'm not sure, but, you know, life goes on life it does as much as you know as I said in my letter as much as sometimes you don't want it to it does and it has to and it does get better and you know in Brad Paisley's song he says these are by far you know not the best years of your life and they're not they're great years don't get me wrong I have some fabulous memories from high school I have some really horrible memories I have some memories where I think was that actually said or did that actually happen but it makes me laugh now and that's all you can do is is look back on these things and and laugh, you know, the mistakes you make, the decisions you do, things you say, you know, life goes on. But I'm going to do a whole bunch of videos on this because I think it's really important. Because um, as I said, I would have killed to have had someone to have answered um, my questions when I was 14, 15. Because you don't always want to go to your parents. And normally, nine times out of ten, the people that you're worrying about are your friends. So you can't go to them. So, you know, who do you have? Really. Anyway. That's it. That's my letter to young Alex. You're going to see a bunch of more videos um, answering some questions from Megan's competition. Just me talking about my general schooling, etc. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. It's really inspired me. She's she's great, Megan. I really do enjoy her. She's she. I look at her like you know she could be a little sister. You know she's she's very young, but she's you know mature beyond her years I think and I think she needs more credit than what she gets so that's it for this video but I'm just going to film like 20 more right this very second um, and I can't wait for you guys to watch them and I hope they inspire you and I hope they help you and I will see you guys very soon very soon <laughs> alright see ya